Right, so once again the disclaimer, the fact that I'm no way a professional groomer and this is a young lady who isn't shown so we're just doing this to tidy her up. Um, one thing I just noticed was on the top of her head there's a few little bits, I don't know if you can see them, of hair just sticking up and what I do is just literally with the finger stools just pull them out and just tidy that up. It wasn't much, just a little tiny bit. But if you've got a dog with Mohegan, he means a little bit more work. Maybe you can treat them a little bit like the ears. <laughs> right, so the next thing we're going to do is move on to the feet. And one thing I should say, one thing I didn't talk about when we were talking about the um, tools, and one of the most important things for me is the grooming table. Um, I used to do it without, and I often wonder how the heck I ever did, because just trying to get the dog at the right height, trying to do things like feet on the ground is, is quite hard. But uh, I understand why you may well not... Uh, think it's necessary. Right, so here we have a lovely pair of snowshoes which we're going to tidy up. And the first thing we're going to do is to lay her on her side so that I can get the coat from underneath the feet. Just pick her up put her down. Again, they quite often don't like being laid down because it's a fairly submissive pose. So, uh, see whether we have any problems with her. Right, so first thing to do, get the straight and just take off as much of that long coat from underneath the pads. Not at this stage going around the edge of the paw, because I'll do that when she's standing. Just take off the worst of that. Now the next thing to do is take off the claws. Now, what you're looking for first of all is a nice light coloured claw. Now that one is a bit dark to actually judge where the quick is. So have a look, there's another one. don't know if you can see that, you can see the pink quick coming down to there and then the rest of it is claw. So I know that, that roughly what the length is I can take off. And I use these clippers and I used to actually do it like that. But a friend of mine suggested, and it works very well, that you actually do it vertically. That way you leave a bit of a point that wears down and makes it now shorter than it would be otherwise. So just get that and clip away. Having done that and got your rough edge length, then you can go for the others. Again, you're looking for the quick and looking for how much you can take off. Down to the next one. Again, it's a dark claw, so just basically gauge it on the last one you did and the one you did. And that's why this one a little bit more size of the quick. So I hope you've got one light claw among the whole lot and then you'll be okay. Right, so having taken those off, let's stand her now. look at getting the shape of the foot. Now again the breed standard says it's a cat shaped or cat like paw and first thing I'm going to do is just take off all this long stuff around the edge. Just do it quite roughly just so I can see what I've actually got. And you may notice I'm actually doing it with a scissor vertically. Oops. Now I'm just trying to get there. Right, then top bits, trying to keep the scissors as flat as I can. Now some people go down and go in there and actually, looking at this, I've actually got a, she's got a mat in there, so that's going to have to come out anyway. And then we're trying to get in under that mat. as little as possible. And you obviously thought you'd finish when you'd had your ears done. I'm afraid you're back here, girl. Let's just go back, taking it as flat as we can. So I don't like, some people will actually go and sculpt around each, um, so I don't personally like that look, so I try to keep it a bit more even. Right, then we can take the front of that off. And all the time, in the look of it, you can see we're shortening the foot. That one looks very, very long. 
and we're shortening this. Just making it look a little bit neater and tidier. Oops. Of course, one problem you have is you have these hairs and you're not quite sure whether they're attached to the dog or on the table, which is why I try to keep clearing the table so I can see what's going on.